Tutorial 3 Algebra, Polynomials and Partial Fraction Look at question number 1 You are given this equation and then you have to find the constants of A and B You have to find the constant of A and B So now at your left hand side is equal to x power of 4 plus x cubed minus 3x square plus ax minus 6 okay at the right hand side is equal to x square x square minus x plus 2 times x square plus bx minus 3 okay and then what you need to do is you you have to solve for the right hand side first then you equating with the left hand side okay so when you solve for the right hand side this one what you, you get is this one multiply with this so you get x power of 4 plus b x cube minus 3 x square minus x cube minus b x square plus 3 x plus 2 x square plus 2 b x minus 6 oh so long all right and and then you collect the same term so x power of 4 this is the highest degree of that variable so put at the first term all right so plus and then the second highest degree is 3 so b minus 1 so here so x power of 3 x cube plus the third degree is 2 which is x square so you have minus 3 minus b plus 2 this is for x square and then plus for x term so 3 plus 2b this is for x term in minus 6 the constant and this is the right hand side and then you compare you compare with a uh, left hand side okay compare right hand side with left hand side so you will get the first term is x power of 4 so this doesn't contain of a and b constant so what which term that contains of which ex expression contains of a and b constant so at the left hand side contains of a constant and b constant is in right hand side so now you have b minus 1 equal to at the left hand side is for x cube is 1 the coefficient of x cube is 1 so b minus 1 equal to 1 b minus 1 for right hand side and for left hand side is 1 coefficient of x cube okay so you will get b equal to 2 so now a since you already find b equal to 2 so look at at left hand side a constant is with x term right with x term so now look at at the right hand side for x term equating left and right hand side so left hand side and right hand side left hand side is a x so equal to 3 plus 2b x so b already found which is 2 so 3 plus 2 times 2 and a option of a that you need to find so a is equal to 7 ok alright so look at the second question so the second question is similar to the first question so you have to find the constants of a b and c so first thing first 
you can use the first method as I taught you in the first question or you can use this method okay either one the answer will be same okay so the first method that I taught you is whereby you equating with left and right hand side so your left hand side is this one okay and your right hand side is this one so first thing first you have to expand this expression first Okay, when you expand this expression and then you equating with the left hand side meaning that you have to collect the same terms and find the constant of A, B and C or another method is use this method it says that the polynomials are equal for all values of X meaning that it has the root of, neg root of 2 for this factor and root of negative 3 for this factor okay then you sub into this identity all right and equating uh, and find the constant find the constants of a or b or c first okay it depends on the when you substitute this value the root into this identity or this expression Okay, let's say you want to use uh, the first method that I taught you in the first question. So your right hand side, when you expand this, you will get x square plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 and times with x minus a, right, for the first one, first expression. And then plus b x plus c let's say you already expand the whole thing so what would you get is x cubed minus a minus 1 x square and then minus a plus 6 this is for x term plus 6 a okay plus 6 a until that and then plus b x plus c and then expand again for x term and then you equating with the left hand side that contains the same terms so for example x cube the coefficient of x cube at the left hand side is 1 and at the right hand side is 1 so it's like that to find the constant of a b and c so now for a at the right hand side a minus 1 this is for x square term and at the left hand side look at the left hand side it's also contains of x square terms which is this one okay minus 3 so here is minus 3 and here also is minus so you can straight away write x uh, a minus 1 equal to 3 so direct you can find a value which is equal to 4 look at here a is equal to 4 okay and then find the value of b and c constant use the same method you equating with left hand side okay look at the terms at the left hand side and then equating to find the constants of b and c or if you use this method at the left hand side this one you can sub the value of x equal to 2 and x equal to negative 3 into the expression at the left hand side and at the right hand side okay so then uh, you equating so you get the value of a b and c constants okay so you have to try first for question number two so the answer is given as a equal to four b equal to six and c equal to negative eight next questions with long division find the quotient and a remainder when this expression is divided by this one okay use a long division method so what you need to do is this is the dividend okay and divided by this is divisor all right so first step 
the first term of the numerator divided by the first term of denominator. So you have 6x power of 4 divided by 2x square. So you get 3x square. Okay, so you can write either here. Let's see, you write here 3x square. And then multiply. The second step is multiply. So these terms multiply with this first. So you get 6x power of 4. And then this term multiply with the second terms of the divisor. So you get 3x cubed. So you get 3x cubed. And this term multiply with 1. So you get 3x squared. And then subtract. Okay. So here is 0. Okay. This one is 0. And this one 11. 11 minus 3. So you will get minus 11 minus 3. So you get minus 14 x cubed. Okay. And this one 6 minus 3. So you get 6 x squared. 6x square and this one bring down minus 2x plus 5 okay again repeat the step divide okay divide the first term of this one by the first term of denominator so negative 14x cubed divided by 2x square so you get negative 7x okay so write negative 7x and then multiply so here you will get negative 14x cubed. Okay, and then minus 7x square, And then minus 7x. Okay. And then you subtract this one. So this is 0. This is plus 3 plus 7. So you get 10x square. Okay, minus 2x plus 7, so you will get plus 5x and bring down 5 plus 5. Okay, again, repeat the steps. Divide, so 10x square divide by 2x square, so you get 5x. Sorry, you get 5. This is cancel, cancel. So you get 5. So that positive 5 plus 5 okay so 5 times 2 x square you get 10 x square plus 5 x and then plus 5 so the remainder is 0 so your question quotient now is 3 x square minus 7 x plus 5 okay and the remainder is zero okay that's how you do for long division so another question i want you to try to answer for long division uh, method look at question number four so question number four you have to use synthetic division method so this one i'm uh, i didn't cover in the lecture so uh, here we can discuss by using synthetic division to find the quotient and remainder when this expression is divided by x plus 2 so we can rewrite this expression uh, as the first term with the highest de degree of that variable so like this okay and this one divided by x plus 2. Okay. So inside this box, okay, the, you, you write the coefficients of that terms. So for example, for the degree 3 is negative 1. So negative 1. And for second degree is positive 7. So you just write 7. For the first degree is 6 and the constant is 5. And outside is, uh, you take the opposite signs of this divisor, which is negative 2. 
okay and then this one bring down so write as negative 1 because nothing to do with this so negative 1 and then negative 2 times negative 1 so this is the method of synthetic division so negative 2 times negative 1 you get positive 2 here okay so 7 plus 2 you get 9 and again you multiply negative 2 times 9 so you get negative 18 negative 18 so 6 minus negative 18 you get negative 12 okay and then again times negative 2 with negative 12 you get positive 24 so 5 times 24 you get 29 so this is your remainder okay in your quotient if you look at there the last answer is negative 1 9 negative 12 right so your quotient is so your quotient is you take as this coefficient always make the first terms a degree less one degree from the main equations so the first degree of the first term of this expression is 3 so your answer is 2 okay so which is negative x square okay and then plus 9x okay and then minus 12 so the remainder is equal to 29 okay one more thing before you pro proceed into this box so here is for x cube and this one is for x square this is for x first degree and this is for constant okay make sure that there's no missing terms in this box let's say for example uh, the equation contains only first degree and then uh, uh, degree 3 and then first degree that's plus 5 so your So your equation so your equation so your coefficient inside this box this contains of negative one this is for x cube okay the, the tr degree three and then for second degree it does not contains in this expression right so you write as zero Okay, and proceeds to the first degree which is 6 and this is 5 that's how you put the, co uh, the coefficient the, co the number inside this box okay next question given that the polynomial has a remainder th negative 13 when divided by x plus 1 and a remainder 5 when divided by 2x minus 1 then find the values of a and b okay so there's two there are two information given so the first one when it's saying that this polynomial has a remainder of negative 13 when divided by x plus 1 okay remember the remainder theorems when a polynomial divided by x minus a then the remainder is p a so now this polynomial is divided by x plus 1 so the remainder is p negative 1 opposite sign the remainder is already mentioned we equal to negative 13 okay the second information it stated that this polynomial has a remainder of 5 when it is divided by 2x minus 1 so p is 1 over 2 meaning that this is corresponding to the x value equal to 5 
okay and then you sub the value of x equal to negative 1 into the polynomial into the polynomial expression and p equal uh, s equal to 1 over 2 into the into the polynomial expression okay okay so you will have when x equal to negative 1 So you can let as this is as equation one. When s equal to half, Okay, so from here when you solve you get a plus 4b equal to 13 so there is another step when you solve uh, in between this and this okay so you can let as equation 2 so from there equation 2 minus equation 1 so you will get a plus 4b minus a plus b get here this is a so a plus 4b minus a plus b equal to 13 minus negative 8 13 minus negative 8 so you will get 21 here so from here a cancel so what you have is 3b equal to 21 so b is 21 over 3 which is, which is 7 okay and a you can choose either in equation 1 or equation 2 so a is so a is negative 8 let's say I take from equation 1 so a is negative 8 minus 7 so a is negative 15 okay so a equal to negative 15 and b equal to 7 okay so this is the last question from the tutorial questions so I will give you um, on how to solve the partial fractions on the first step and then I want you to proceed okay so from uh, look at it, question 7a so from the denominator you can know uh, which form of the partial fraction it is okay so look at here it is a uh, this is a quadratic but then you can factorize this expression so you will have x minus 11 over x plus 3 and x minus 4 so it becomes linear factor so you will know that your partial fraction will be in this form so a over x plus 3 plus b over x minus 4 okay so i want you to proceed for the next step so now this is the linear factor uh, form okay for a denominator with the linear factor okay for the second second one b 7b look at at denominator look at denominator so you have x cubed plus x square minus 2x Okay, how to do this meaning that you can 
factorize this so it become okay so when you expand this the whole thing so you get back this expression okay so now your uh, denominator is a linear factor okay so it's a linear factor so it has this is um for b so it has three single fractions the first one is a over x okay a over x plus and then the second single fraction is b over x minus 1 plus the third one is c over x plus 2 okay all right that is for b so c okay for c it contains of quadratic factor okay so this one equal to a over x minus 2 and then plus b x plus c because this is quadratic factor okay and then over x square plus 1 okay and then you proceed so for d you will have this one also quadratic okay quadratic factor so a over x minus 3 plus b x plus c over x square plus 2 okay okay so for e look at the denominator so this is the repeated factors Okay, so your form of partial fraction will be a over x plus 1 okay, plus b. So you have this one, repeated factor, right? So for the first degree and for the second degree. Okay. F. So for F, you have repeated factor. Okay. with quadratic factor okay how about this one so you have how many single fractions here you have three single fraction because of this one this is the first degree this is the second degree so it is uh, a over x for the first single fraction okay so now for the second expression this one it is a quadratic quadratic equation and a repeated factor okay quadratic so be x plus c over x square plus one for the first degree of this repeated factor and and the x plus e because this one is a quadratic equation over x square plus 1 and then with second degree because with quadratic equation with a repeated factor okay so that is for f so for g, for g and h is quite special because the this fraction is improper fractions so in order for you to proceed for partial fractions the numerator degree must be at least less one degree of the denominator so now look at here numerator has degree of two the highest one and at denominator also degree of two okay and for h this is degree of three and when you expand this you get degree of 2 okay which is less than numerator so what you need to do is for g you have to divide uh, numerator by this denominator first okay so let's say you divide by using long division method you divide by 
uh, this expression x square minus x minus 2 ok so you will get the answer is 3 plus the remainder is x minus 1 over x minus 2 times x plus 1 ok whereby it's like this 3x uh. square minus 2x minus 7 divided by divisor so your quotient is 3 here so here you will get Okay, so now this is your quotient and this is your remainder and this is your divisor. Okay, so now this is your quotient, this is your remainder, this is your divisor. So in order to proceed for partial fraction uh, method, your left hand side this one you can rewrite as these things which is x minus 1 over x minus 2 times x plus 1 equal to form of partial fraction for this expression ok so these things is actually from the origin from the original expressions okay so you take a remainder over divisor so equal to this is a linear factor okay so your form, form of partial fraction will be a over x minus 2 and plus b over x plus 1 okay so that is for g and then you proceed for the next step okay for h you look at here the numerator has degree of 3 and denominator has de degree of 2 so it is improper fraction so what you need to do same as g question so you have to divide numerator this one by denominator okay so this one you expand first when you expand you will get x square plus 2x minus 3 so this is from x minus 1 and x plus 3 ok so you expand this so you get this one ok then you divide by this so you get the quotient here ok and this is the remainder so now before you proceed to this partial fraction you take the remainder over divisor okay and then equal to partial fraction form okay so let's say here the remainder okay i give the answer the remainder is equal to here you get 7x minus 6 okay so your seven x your remainder is seven x minus six over divisor is x square plus two x minus three okay which is also equal to seven x minus six is x minus 1 and x plus 3 ok this is the original from the original equation ok x plus 1 x plus 3 and then equal to ok use at the left hand side ok so a so this is now is a linear factor so a over x minus 1 and plus b over x plus 3 ok so now it's easy for you to solve to find the partial fraction for this expression okay with that we finish for the tutorial um, video so i hope that you can try to answer all the questions okay and with that thank you for watching